Off the beaten track in Borneo. From steaming jungle to the cloud capped summit of Mount Kinabalu, Borneo's natural wonders are undeniable. But the island is no longer the deserted paradise it once was. Package tours and cheap flights from Southeast Asia have placed Borneo firmly on the tourist trail, and solitude is becoming hard to find, but with some effort and a sense of adventure, it's still possible to discover the island's secret corners. Malioa Basin This pocket of wilderness is one of the last areas of untouched jungle left in Malaysian Borneo. Covering 390 square kilometers, the Malia Basin www.maliabasin.my, was discovered by chance in 1947 by a British pilot, who noticed its outline while flying overhead. Ringed by rock walls and dense forest, it's justifiably been nicknamed Borneo's Lost World. Amazingly, the first scientific expedition wasn't undertaken until 1987. A misty sunrise over the jungle of the Middle Yaw Basin, sometimes known as Borneo's Lost World. Image by Oliver Berry, Lonely Planet. Malya's biodiversity is astonishing. It contains around 38% of the island's species, ranging from gigantic Seraya trees to critically endangered animals like clouded leopards and Sumatran rhinos. Now protected as a nature reserve, Malya is reassuringly hard to reach, it takes two hours off-road driving to the nearest road, another five hours drive to the nearest city, Kota Kinabalu, although the ominous logging roads encircling the basin's edge suggest its isolation could soon be a thing of the past. Several basic camps are maintained around the basin's jungled interior, linked by rough trails and equipped with minimal facilities, hammocks, tarpaulins, camping stoves and not much else. There's an upside to the discomfort, though, camping in the jungle enables you to explore areas most people never see, especially the basin's spectacular waterfalls. Just be sure to pack some leech socks, you'll be needing them. Tanjung Puting Orangutan reserves such as Sipilok and Simanga, www.sirawakforestry.com, allow everyone to catch sight of Borneo's most famous animal, but glimpsing orangutans in the wild isn't nearly as easy. They're notoriously shy and avoid human contact as much as possible, so your best option is to head for the riverbanks of Tanjung Puting National Park, www.orangutan.org weblink. Perhaps the best place in the world to see orangutans in their natural habitat. The Kalabit Highlands Tucked away in eastern Sarawak, the Kalabit Highlands are ideal for some warm-up trekking before you tackle Borneo's main mountain, Mount Kinabalu. Inhabited by the Kalabit tribe, these remote uplands receive far fewer visitors than other areas of Borneo, so they're perfect for peaceful hiking. The Sangalaki Archipelago Borneo has many beautiful islands, including the resorts of the Tunku Abdul Rahman Marine Park and the coral reefs of Tun Sakan Marine Park, www.sabaparks.org.my, and Pulau Sipadan. For island isolation you'll need to do a bit more work and catch a boat to the Sangalaki Archipelago, a span of secluded islands that feel like stepping back into Borneo's past. Gunan Mulu National Park High in the hills of northern Sarawak, Gunan Mulu is home to Borneo's most extensive cave systems. Thousands of caverns have been carved out by natural erosion from the underlying limestone, including the magnificent Sarawak Chamber, the largest cave ever found.